we'd like to do today is review, go over, explain to you the safety features of this product, maintenance aspects of this product, and operational aspects and concerns for servicing this, this two-cell Marley NC cross-flow cooling tower. I would like to point out features such as the ladder with the safety cage, the fan motor disconnect, access doors, this is a cabinet controlling the terminal strip, or that contains the terminal strip for all of the wiring that is inside of the cooling tower. Additionally, we have a separate disconnect for the basin heater and the liquid double control panel. The features of this cooling tower include a liquid level control system, basin heating system that are mounted to the side of the cooling tower and controlled or powered by this shut off and disconnect. The liquid level control panel is comprised of probes that are located inside the cooling tower. This panel specifically itself contains wiring from inside the panel, a schematic which contains all of the electrical concerns and dimensions that you will need to know to service the panel. The relays are obvious, but importantly, this is the HOA or hand auto switch. The switch allows the system to operate in two, three, two modes, off and hand, which will mean you're going to manually activate the solenoid valve, bringing makeup water to the, to the specific tower, or operate in automatic, where we rely on the control circuitry and the probes inside of the cooling tower cell to operate as needed. We will activate the alarms, the limits, and the makeup componentry that's included in the liquid level control system. This Marley NC series cooling tower has a motor, gearbox, and fan assembly inside. It's important to note that before you access, any time you access this, this equipment, you should throw the disconnect to disable the fan and lock out if your safety procedures require it. To access the door, in this manner, it's relatively easy. What I'd like to point out to you at this time is our liquid level control system. I would like to show you the Marley liquid level control system probe assembly. I've removed the probes from the stilling chamber, taken them out of the water so that you can see what they appear to be like as they are um, installed at the Marley factory. It's always important to note that we have a common probe, two probes comprising the makeup water system and various probes that make up our alarms and shut off control controls. These probes always remain in the water during normal operation. This head contains the control contains the probe length features for level control. We remove this panel, we will find thumb screw type of um, features that allow us to manually adjust the length of the probes and how they interact with the water in dealing with how we will, providing us infinite control with alarms, shutoffs, and water makeup features. What I'd like to show you is our Marley basin heater system that is installed on this specific cell. Each cell has its own self-contained control system. This particular unit has an Indico panel, factory supplied, field installed, that includes control circuitry based on water temperature at a probe I'll show you in a minute, that feeds power to the bayonet heaters in the basin of the cooling tower. 
Each cooling tower cell has one or two, depending on its specific size, bayonet heaters that maintain water temperature above freezing during winter operation. It is fully self-contained, fully controlled. There's a disconnect, which is a control, electrical control feature, but it remains on at all times. This panel comes with a, we provide a comprehensive manual to, um, for the controls contractor, for the electrician to verify operation if they choose to. It's important to note that inside we have relatively few um, complex control features. They are relatively simple to service, assess, and verify in operation. I would like to show you the one of the safety devices and the temperature control input to the basin water heating water system. This probe senses temperature and it senses that there is water in the system based on conductivity. It is a Marley design and supplied device that when immersed in the water tells the control panel that it is allowed to activate as a safety by the fact that it's in the water conductivity based it allows a signal provides a signal to the panel saying that it can operate. Additionally it provides a temperature readout based on conductivity in ohms to the control panel allowing the basin heater water system to activate and operate and control the temperature of the water in the basin heating in the basin to maintain it above freezing. We are on top of the Marley NC series cross flow cooling tower. What, I'm up, what I'd like to show you is the OSHA safety devices that allow access to the top of the cooling tower while fan is in operation, walking surfaces, and the fan assembly. We are looking at the Marley uh, induced draft fan assembly. The picture you're seeing right now is a Marley gearbox, angle gearbox. It, it has a five year oil change, recommended oil change uh, service ratio or service schedule, a coupling, and the motor. It's a self contained unit, it's shipped from the factory. It should be reviewed periodically to make sure that it isn't leaking by accessing a dipstick that we'll show you in a few minutes. This is, a, this is a dipstick. There's one for each gearbox assembly. Dipstick, simply to read it, simply shut the fan down, shut the motor off, let it set for a period of time, and then read the dipstick like you would any device. The oil, we recommend changing it with Marley synthetic oil every five years. This is a picture of the vibration switch that's installed in each cell. The vibration switch is installed in, these, in this cooling tower. Each cell at SUNY Binghamton is integrated into the building automation system. Should the fan assembly develop vibration, the vibration switch will trip. The signal is monitored by the building automation system. Hence, an alarm will be achieved and the vibration VFD will be shut down. Please note the plunger on the side of the VF of the vibration switch that is to reset the mechanical device within the VF vibration switch to reset it only after verifying that there is nothing wrong with the fan assembly. I have removed one of the covers of the hot water basin, stainless steel hot water basin from this cooling tower cell. This is an HC hand valve that controls flow to this air inlet side of the cell. And there are four on this cooling tower. We have balanced the system for design operating flow so that all four valves have been balanced hydraulically to so that when this tower has a normal operating flow, 
the water is about an inch and a half below this level. Right now they're operating the cell at reduced flow and what you see is a, a pattern which is symbolic of lower flow to the cell. We never allow water to, to pump so much water that we're water water will come out of the hot water basin. Should that be the case, we're either pumping too much water or we need to control them with these valves. Never leave the cover off. Covers are um, held in place by wing nuts and should remain in place at all times. I would like to show you the electrical devices for the second cell of the SUNY Binghamton cooling tower. Additionally, we have redundant systems or we have separate systems for each specific cell. Fan shut off, disconnect, liquid level control system with a separate HOA or automatic and hand switch. Disconnect for the basin heating and control system and our basin heating control panel for cell number two. Hello. My name is Peter Felice, Johnston Equipment Company, Rochester, New York. We're the sales organization that sold the cooling tower to the university for this project. Johnston Equipment Company is a sales representative office that supplies Marley Cooling Tower SPX Cooling Technologies products. We are the resident sales organization responsible for supplying technology, service, and parts for Marley Cooling Towers to SUNY Binghamton.